Mr. Howard, you purchased a used car, a 2015 Maserati... Ghibli. Ghibli? Ghibli, yeah, that's a weird name. And who did you purchase it from? I bought it from a big car lot. It's in uh, Phoenix, Arizona. How much did you pay for it? Um, the car cost 35000 uh, I put down a down payment for the vehicle. Uh, I make payments on it. And when did you purchase it, sir? It was 7 17 18 And at some point, you took the car into Mr. Ginkle's shop, who advertises that he wraps cars. Now, yes. from what I understand, wrapping is the process where you make it look not shiny. Correct. Uh, I was wrapping the chrome trim around the car. So everything that was chrome was going to be made to look black. Okay, so you weren't changing the whole car. Not you the whole were just, car. just changing the chrome Correct. to be flat black flat, or shiny black? Flat black was what I wanted. Uh, he had the shiny um, uh, wrap, so he, he went with the shiny wrap. Okay, so you were fine with that. So you wanted that, that, the whole thing was... to look all one color? Yep, all one. Because I didn't understand. I yeah. was going to ask you why would you take a perfectly good $35,000 <laughs> car and then, you know, Screw it up by putting a yeah. final covering. <laughs> you just wanted the chrome cover. Correct. Okay. And he quoted you a price. And it is your claim, sir, that not only was the vinyl now coming off the chrome, which is really not what you're complaining about, mm -hmm. what you're really complaining about is that when he returned the car to you, you noticed some damage. Correct. Okay. On what date did you take the car into his shop? That was on 821. And on what date did you call him about? the damage that you saw when you got the car home? Probably about, it takes about 45 minutes to get back from where I picked the car up at. I called him on the way back, because he had told me about what he had to do for the, for the door handles. I didn't see it because it was dark. Door handles? The, no, so, so the door handles, uh, to pop them off, he had to go into the door jam, and that's where the door, the damage is inside the door, the door jam. I could show you a picture of it if you'd like. Okay, so tell me what the damage was, sir. The damage was done to the inside of the doors where he, there's, there's little holes um, for you to put a tool in and pop the door handles out. And uh, he did put a drill bit in, in the side of the door and drilled it to make it larger so he can get his tool inside to pop out the door, the door handles. I'd like to see where is this storage. Is it where you can see it? Yes. From the outside of the car or do you have to be inside of the car to see it? And that's the damage to the door. This is what you're talking about. It's inside the car. It's inside the car. It's inside. The you don't see is, it from the outside. You, see you it, don't see it from the inside. You correct. see it when you open the car door. Correct. But there's a this, reason. Sorry. This jagged, unfinished looking yeah. thing. Car well, that's unprofessional like looking, sir. Just in case you wanted to know. And I'm really stupid. I mean, I have a lot of cars, but I'm stupid when it comes to mechanics. But this looks unprofessional. I told him what was needed to do to get the job done. Uh, he agreed. Just a second. Well, if you said to me, I have to drill a hole in in order to get that done, I wouldn't have expected it to look like my three-year-old grandchild made a hole in the car. <laughs> I would have fixed it, smoothed it over, covered it, made it look like a professional job. Typically, there's rubber caps on those holes. Um, I just happened to forget to put the rubber cap back on well, that Well, that's your problem. But it looks unprofessional. It looks as if you damaged the car. I, I told him that that's uh, right. what was necessary. This looks terrible, sir. Now, is this on the other side? So on the other side of the car, uh, there's no damage done to those. Those holes are still the same size as they're, they're supposed to be. It was just that side. I, I, I no, think that he did it. Do you understand? Side. This looks as if maybe it could have been touched up a little bit, you know, maybe a little paint or something inside there so it wouldn't be annoying. But this doesn't look like it was done by my three-year-old. Correct. This looks like it was done by a three-year-old. Correct. Now. So your what Honor, did you have to do to fix that? So the, the damage to the door is also, the reason why those plugs are in the door is so water doesn't get inside the door and settle at the very bottom, because that's where all the rust and all that stuff will come in at the car. So that's why, the, that's why they need to replace the doors pretty much, because even putting rubber hoses in those holes, there's still going to be water that gets inside there. You don't have to put in whole new doors. I'm sorry. 